Hey, anyway, welcome back. Now we have a very tiny session, but actually very simple. We will have just a toggle over here, so that going to help the user to switch between uh, table or lists. So this is something very simple. Now if we go to components, over here if we check, uh, I don't know what to do, what to use actually, but let's figure out what it buttons. Okay, let's open buttons. We have button. So, uh, okay, it looks like interesting. It looks like this is exactly what we want. So look at that, this is nice. Uh, we can use the two of those that actually, uh, uh, we put them beside each other so he can switch them and switching one gonna switch the other one and so on. Uh, so yeah, I think this one is a good choice. So let's go ahead and start using that. Um, I will, yeah, let's let's go ahead to the, I will close the plans table, close, close the card, close all the stuff. And now we should be over here. So here we have a two. Uh, let's bring this one to save some time. Or, but this one is going to change the icon, which actually is something that we don't want to use. I, I think if we use the, I, the normal icon button is going to be better for us. So we just disable and enable it. We don't need to use two icons. I think this one is more than enough. So I will take this, then I will put it over here. And for the icon, let's see, do we have a table icon? Table view, yeah, that's nice. This is a table view and let me remove this one from over here and I will add another button. You can use Ctrl D to uh, duplicate actually the same line. So this is the table of view and this one is the card. Uh, SD card, SIM card. Let's try to use grid. Is there anything called the grid? Grid view, interesting. So grid view and or table of view. So this is interesting actually, I liked it. So we have all, all the stuff that we need. Now, I will go to the code behind file. I will open up this one and I will create two basic uh, view toggler. So private pool is list enabled, which says a true. So is list the uh, cards view so right now it's more clear so private void uh, set grid set cards view which actually what's gonna do is make this one true and the other function set table view which actually just going to make this one false this is very basic code. Now if we go for this one, on a click, set a table view. And for this one, on a click, we are going to set cards view. And I will type over here. Uh, sorry, let's let's make it uh, here. Uh, disabled equals it's going to be disabled if is cards enabled. This one will be disabled just the exact vice versa. So it will be disabled if is not cards enabled. Because if it's not card, then it's the table view. In case you have multiple views, because here we have only two, so we use the cards at the default one. But in case you uh, you have multiple views, you can use enum for that, or you can use string values or whatever, but this is a very easy and straightforward process. So let's save the code over here. And because I'm running uh, watch run in the background, it's going to be built and automatically going to reflect that. Let's see if it's going to work well, but yeah, uh, uh, we haven't switched the views yet. But let's see if the buttons is working at least. So here we go, it's switching. Okay, great, this is list and this is data table. Awesome, they are switching very fine. So the last thing to do is actually to switch the tables themselves. And 
this is a very easy process. All I have to do is to come over here and just type if is cards enable else. So in this case, show this one over here. Control K, Control D to interesting. Now let's remove those lines. We are ready to go. That's something very simple. Let's now go over here, wait a little bit. And what you're gonna see, oh, that's, that's amazing. But now what if I wanna see them as a table? We can just press this button and here we go. We can switch between them very smoothly. <laughs> This is very interesting and uh, this gives a very good user experience. Actually, when you are building a real world application, those tiny things are very, very important because they give the user the freedom. Because for me personally, I prefer this view, but for some people, they prefer this one because you can see much more data, especially if you go over here and you type, okay, I want to see 50 and uh, you don't need to scroll too much like uh, this one because here you just see eight and you have to scroll while this one you can see the full 10 just in one in one place which is which is great you can take the actions directly in, in in bulk and so on but yeah you can give the user the choice so that's amazing now we have we have implemented our first awesome page that actually works very fine and what's left is just basically to add some banning and margin and some uh, cosmetics for this page to look very good but in general everything is just working fine now we have everything's ready let's try to change the color of this one from uh, to the primary color which is this purple we are going to change it at the end typing color equals color dot primary okay let's save switch back for this one and in the meantime i'm going to go to get kraken and click stage all changes and then support switching plan plans of you so click on push so now you are always up to date here we go i think this looks better if you click here and here okay that's great so i hope you enjoyed this one now in the next session we are just going to add those cosmetics that we have talked about and then we will switch to add a plan we are we are very close to be done and i think in the it's the, the, all the videos are going to be delivered uh, so quickly in the next two days. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.